Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. We'll cover how to fix the issue of Google Chrome not responding. This problem is common especially on systems with limited RAM like 8GB running Windows 11 or other operating systems. Some of the usual culprits are excessive background processes, outdated GPU drivers, hardware acceleration conflicts, corrupted data, or problematic extensions. Let's dive into the methods to resolve this issue step by step. Method 1. Disable Hardware Acceleration Hardware acceleration can sometimes conflict with outdated graphics drivers, causing Chrome to become unresponsive. To fix this, either update your GPU drivers or disable hardware acceleration in Chrome. Here are the steps to disable hardware acceleration. This one is common and works in most cases. Open Google Chrome. Click on the three-dot menu in the top right corner and select Settings. Scroll down and click on Advanced to expand more options. Under the System section, locate Use Hardware Acceleration when available and toggle it off. Restart Chrome to apply the changes. If the issue persists, proceed to the next method. Method 2. Clear All-Time Browser History This can also solve your problem if something is wrong with your browser cache. Click on the three dots in the top right corner of Chrome. Look for Clear Browsing Data and click on it. Choose All Time, select everything, and click on Delete. If you're using an older OS such as Windows 7 or 8, you can also clear browsing data via Internet Options. Click on the Windows icon, type Internet Options, and in the General tab, look for Browsing History. Click on Delete, check All Options, and click Delete. Method 3. Manage Background Processes Excessive background processes can hog your system resources, leading to Chrome freezing or not responding. Use Task Manager to close unnecessary processes. Let's go to the Processes tab. Identify processes consuming high CPU or memory. Right-click on the unnecessary process and select End Task. Relaunch Chrome and check if the issue is resolved. Method 4. Update or reinstall Chrome. An outdated or corrupted Chrome installation can cause performance issues. Updating or reinstalling Chrome can help fix this. Steps to update or reinstall Chrome. Back up your bookmarks or any important browsing data. Uninstall Chrome via the control panel. Open the control panel, programs and features. Locate Google Chrome, right click and select uninstall. Delete leftover files, optional but recommended. Navigate to C colon users, backslash your username, backslash app data, backslash local. Find the Google folder and delete it. Download and install the latest version of Chrome from the official website. Method 5. Scan for malware or corrupted windows. If the issue persists across browsers, it may indicate a corrupted Windows installation or malware infection. Scan your PC using Windows Defender, Deep Scan. The next step is to repair Windows corrupted files. Open Command Prompt by pressing Windows plus S. Type Command Prompt, right click, and select Run as Administrator. Execute the following commands one by one, as listed in the description. Restart your PC if prompted after each command. First, type SFC slash SCANNOW and press Enter. This scan will take a few minutes to complete. Second, type CHKDUSK slash C slash F and press Enter. If prompted, press Y, then press Enter again. Restart your PC so that the tool can scan and repair your Windows files. This method indirectly resolves issues caused by corrupted system files. Method 6. Reset Windows to Default Settings If none of the above methods work, reset your Windows to its default settings. Press Win plus I, go to Windows Update, then Advanced Settings. Find the Recovery option and open it. Click on Reset and follow the on-screen prompts. This will reset your Windows to Factory Settings. If your ISO was official, this should solve your problem. Alternatively, you can download the latest ISO and perform a fresh installation. And that's it. These methods should help you resolve the issue of Chrome not responding. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with others. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next tutorial.